Good morning to you on this Tuesday. We continue with Mark's Gospel, chapter 13, from verse 3 today. As he was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew were questioning him privately. Tell us, when will these things be? What will be the sign when all these things are going to be fulfilled? And Jesus began to say to them, See to it that no one misleads you. Many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and will mislead many. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be frightened. Those things must take place, but that is not yet the end. For nation will rise up against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will also be famines. These things are merely the beginning of birth pangs. So Jesus had told the disciples that the temple one day will lie in ruins and one stone will not be left upon another as we saw yesterday the temple was torn down in AD 70 when Titus invaded Rome uh, invaded Jerusalem sorry now the disciples ask him when will the end be and Jesus never gives a definitive answer because somewhere else he said it's not for us to know the times or the seasons and it's only in the father's hands the end will be when the father has determined the end will be but then he points us in the direction of what we can expect. There will be wars and rumors of wars, famines, earthquakes in places. We see all that happening in the world. Jesus likens these to birth pangs. And he also says, do not be deceived. That's the most important thing. He said, many will come in my name and claim to be the Messiah, claim to be Jesus' return. There's whole sects out there and groups that believe that Jesus has already come back and that he's already um, established his... Um, kingdom here on earth it's all nonsense of course but we need to be awake as I said to you on Sunday we need to test the spirits we need to know our scriptures and we know that the more frequent the labor pains come we know that the the birth is much nearer as the baby is about to be born contractions go from being quite spread apart to being very close together as we see an intensifying in the world of wars and rumors of wars and famines and earthquakes and all the different things that are going on and society is crumbling, we can be pretty certain that the day of the Lord is very near. Now it's really not important when it's going to be. The important thing is, are you ready? That's the important thing. Are you ready? Do you know the scriptures? Are you waiting for the Lord Jesus Christ to return? He could return at any moment or he could call up your name and you leave this world at any moment the big question is are you ready have you repented of your sins is jesus christ your lord and savior are you looking forward to his return that's the important question lord god heavenly father we bow our heads before you in the precious name of jesus your son and our lord we thank you for this new day we bless praise and worship you we come into your gates with thanksgiving into your courts with praise we thank you for your word lord we thank you lord that we don't have to be afraid as we look out of the world and we see that the labor pains are getting more and more frequent, that's exciting because we know that means that our salvation draweth near. We look forward to the day when the trumpet will sound, when you will, Lord, raise us up from the dead, or if we're alive at the time that you will transform us, that we will be die and be resurrected in the twinkling of an eye and then united with you forever. What a wonderful day that will be. Till that time comes, may we faithfully serve you we pray for those who have not yet understood the gospel, for those who have not yet responded, that today would be the day, Lord. Today, pour out your Holy Spirit upon this world, Lord, and just, just touch the hearts of the lost. We pray, Lord, for our governments and people in authority. As the birth pains get stronger, as the contractions get stronger, they're going to need more and more wisdom and understanding. So we pray for that for our leaders, Lord. We pray for peace in our country. We pray for peace in the Ukraine. We pray for an end to that war. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we know that you have all things in control. So we just leave it up to you. We lift up before you the sick and the dying and all who are in need, the orphan, the widow. Heavenly Father, have mercy. Have mercy and Lord, lay your hand upon the sick, upon those who are suffering, upon those who are lonely, upon those who are confused and frightened. Heavenly Father, we ask you in your mercy that you would bless our families and our loved ones near and far. And hear us now as we join together in praying, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.